Hey everyone, welcome back y'all. We are back to do our week two of September stock up. It is usually our stock up week for shelf stabled items. I am holding off on some items. I'll explain that here in a minute. But I also have some gifts that came in y'all. So I'm super duper excited. I'm gonna let you know right now. I am so much watching so many videos on canning. I really, really, really am confused, but we will get there soon enough. So, all right, week number two for our shelf stable stock up. This is the last time that I am going to order any kind of canned items from Walmart and or have them bring them to me. The problem with this is when they ship cans to you, or if they bring them from the store, some of the shoppers don't really look at the cans or the quality of the cans. We have some dented cans, y'all. <laughs> Not a good thing. I have a couple of dented cans in my cabinet. We need to get through those pretty quickly. I do need to check them for safety reasons. If they are not safe or I feel like there's questionable um, smells or anything of them, I will just throw them completely out. But this is the last time I am going to allow Walmart to bring me via Walmart delivery and or shipping from Walmart um, any kind of canned goods. I am going to sacrifice probably close to $14 a month. And I know that doesn't sound like a lot, y'all, but $14 a month is 14 extra cans of carrots. <laughs> just, just under, maybe even a little bit more because these cans of carrots are 90 cents a piece in my local Walmart right now. But I'm going to sacrifice that round trip in uber to go up and get my own canned goods y'all i just i can't let walmart do it anymore and there's a lot of shoppers out there who do shop for us who don't even look when they pick up a can and if it's dented they don't really understand what dented cans mean so we will eat through some of those canned carrots we are going to stop eating through our green beans currently right now because i do have frozen green beans upon frozen other types of vegetables in my freezer. We're gonna start eating through those as we are stocking up on canned goods. I need to get 108 cans of every single vegetable that we use. That's green beans, that's corn, that's carrots, that is mixed vegetables, also cream corn for myself. I won't stock up as, as much on that one because my kids don't like cream corn. They prefer regular corn and a few other vegetables. Once I have this rotation done, I will move into another rotation. Now, another thing I do really need to start stocking up on quickly before the winter is canned tomato products. So with that being said, we will be doing that as well. We have a five pound bag of flour. I have come up with a really, really nice recipe from Acre Homestead that is Becky, you all know Becky. I went to her website and I went into the little cookbook section and I grabbed out the best uh, homemade sandwich bread. We're going to start making that, y'all. I do buy loaves of bread because we've been super busy, but I'll be real honest. We really need to go back to making bread. And I'm going to try her recipe. So I grabbed another five pound bag of flour. Now, normally I want to just grab a 25 pound bag, but the pop, the problem with that is right now is I'm waiting for things to go on sale in November and December. A lot of baking items go on sale during the holidays. If we can get it cheaper then I will. If I get there and it's still the same price that it normally is, we're gonna pick it up anyways. So just hoping and holding out to see what goes on sale for the holidays so that we can stock up. Saw this on another YouTuber's video and I'll be honest, I don't remember who it was. <laughs> I wanna say I know who it is, but if I say it and it's the wrong person, then I'll have to come back and apologize. So this is Mrs. Wages Salsa Mix. Now, I'm not sure if this is the size that she used in her video. I will go through it and check it. This is over 11 ounces. This is supposed to can up to six pints, I believe it is, of salsa. Now, all you need with this is some diced tomatoes, and she used canned diced tomatoes in her video. That's exactly what I'm going to do because I don't have my green stalks yet, but I am working towards getting those um, and saving for those. So, it's just this salsa mix with the diced canned tomatoes. And I heard it tastes really, really good. If my kids like it, because we do eat a lot of salsa around here, then I will put it on rotation for subscribe and save through Amazon. And this was just under $7. So if you're in the um, market for a salsa mix, I heard this one was really, really good. Now, I'm not sure if she used this size of a container or a smaller container. I will have to read through and find out how much this one makes. But anyways, we did go ahead and grab that. Over here... We did get a present in the mail. Amazon delivered this to us 
from someone who wanted to gift this to me. And this is a water bath canner, y'all. So, super excited. I don't know much about water bath canning yet. I'm still learning about my canner, my Nesco 9.5 canner as it is right now. But I really, really want a water bath. My problem with this is, I told you in my recent video, I cannot water bath can right now because the 1968 stove that I have in my house is breaking down. My biggest burner, I have three burners that are small and one big burner on my stove. It is breaking down so bad that three, no, two of the burners don't properly heat right and I cannot use the biggest burner. So here's how I'm gonna solve the problem. I'm gonna save up for a stove, y'all. I'm gonna tell my landlord, take the stove out. I'm gonna put my own stove in and then when I move, you can bring back either your crappy stove or you can do whatever you want with it. But I need a new stove in this house. And the one I'm looking at is roughly about $800. So yes, it's going to take me some time. No, I cannot water bath can right now, but definitely super happy and thank you so much for this water bath canner. It does come with a rack. I don't know anything about this company. It's called Super Ant, A-N-T. I need to look up some information. This uh, water bath canner did not come with any instructions. I was a little shocked that it didn't come with anything per se for instructions, but they said on the outside of the box, they're a small company, but that doesn't mean that they're not a good company. So with that being said, I will have to look this up. Now, again, it does have a rack inside, but I don't know if I can get a second rack and double the rack size for canning in here or not. Um, if you do know, please let me know as well. Again, we are very, very new uh, for canning, and I cannot use this water bath canner until I get a new stove in the house. So that's gonna take a while for me to prepare and get that taken care of. With that came the entire kit for our water bath canner and all kinds of supplies that we need anyways. <laughs> I don't know what everything is just quite yet, but we have got everything. I do know we have a header in here. I do know we have the magnet to pick up the lids out of the simmering water when we heat up our lids. It's got a whole bunch of different types of um, jar grabbers and jar lifters and things of that nature. So we're gonna go through, this is the first one. Y'all, if you know what it is, say number one is this, number two is that, because I am so lost right now Canning is such a science. It really, really is. Um, I'm not quite sure what this one does either, but you know, it does something. It's some kind of can or jar grabber. <laughs> Looks like something they might end up using um, in surgery to do something with. It did come with a funnel, which I'm super excited. I have one funnel already, so that's a secondary funnel. I am believing that this is, let me see if I can feel it first. I believe that this is the header for the half inch, full inch, all that to make sure that you have enough head space. If I'm wrong, please tell me I'm wrong because <laughs> y'all remember, I don't see. So I'm a blind canner and that can get a little scary, I think sometimes. Um, we have this one as well. I'm thinking that this is a jar lifter by the feel of it, but I'm not sure. Kind of feels like it would lift up a jar. This is plastic though, so very, very heavy duty. Now this came with my water bath can. We have this one here, which is some kind of a tongue. I'm thinking you need tongs for this as well. So it did come with quite a bit of pieces. I honestly, I don't know how much this cost because I did not buy it, I received it as a gift. Did come with some measuring cups, were always, always good and useful and handy. It came with some labels, which I have my own labels. I don't know how well these will stick. So I do have other labels. And this is the magnet, which I do know is what pulls the actual jar lids out of the simmering water. Some more labels here as well that came with the package. So I did receive this as a gift. So thank you, thank you, thank you to that individual who did send this to me. I do know who it is, but I don't know if she wants to be named on here or not. While she sent me this, she also sent me some canning jars. Now, I have talked to so many people about mason jars versus canning jars because I have been so confused. I was under the consideration that mason jars could not be used as canning jars, but they are the bowl version. That's what I do get from my local Walmart. I went online and I looked at Amazon and what I had purchased 
over here is I have purchased six ball canning jars. Now these cost me 20 bucks, y'all, for six of them. If you go into your local Walmart and you see the mason jars that have the lids and the bands, I know the lids probably are not the gum kind of lids that have the sealing uh, goop around the inside of the lid that you have to heat up before you put on your canning jars. A pack of 12 for the pint size, which is what this is, is only $13. But I don't know if those mason jars that say ball on them, I was told that they should have some information on there saying canning all over it. Now, again, remember, I can't see. I'm blind. Next time I go to Walmart, I'm going to have my son check and see if it says the word canning anywhere on the, on the packages. Because why am I buying six pint size canning jars for 20 bucks? If I can get 12 mason jars that does the canning as well, they come with the lids and the bands, and I can get them for $13. So please solidify that understanding down below in the comment section. I've had many people say, yes, you can use mason jars as canning jars, but they need to come with the lids and bands. All of my mason jars have always come with the lids and bands, and I've always paid about $12 to $13 for a dozen. So why are canning jars or quote unquote canning jars, so much more expensive than a mason jar if you can use a mason jar to can it? That's a question I've always had. So that was one that I purchased. The same person that sent me the water bath canner also sent me three, six, nine, 12, I thought it was 12, a dozen of the 32 ounce canning jars from Anchor Hawking. And she also sent me a pack of the mason jars, or not mason, I'm sorry, the canning jars that is also from Anchor Hawk, and it's three, six, nine, twelve. Yeah, so there's twelve there too, and that is also pint size. So that is what we have for you today. Thank you again to that special person who went ahead and went out of her way and purchased us a water bath canner when she found out I wanted one, and she got me some more jars. Again, if the mason jars that I'm seeing at Walmart that are thirteen dollars for a pack of twelve, coming with the lids and the rings. If you can actually can in those, and maybe it does say canning all over it. I need to have my son check when we go. My son's only 12, but he's going to learn how to can this year. My daughter Jessica is going to learn how to can this year. They're both eighth grade homeschooled students. They're going to learn canning. That's part of one of their projects for our home economics is learning how to make things from scratch, learning how to can, learning all the things of this nature, learning how to grocery shop and budget for things of this nature. I'm going to have him check and see maybe the word canning is all over those mason jars and I just do not know. So that will be something we'll find out here in the next couple of weeks as we go back to Walmart to pick up a few more items. Again, we are waiting on any kind of baking items, any turkeys, any hams, things of that nature until the holiday hits to see if we can get things much cheaper. I'm super excited about starting our canning process. I'm super excited about saving up for our green stalks. Again, y'all, I want five of them, but <laughs> I got squirrels in my backyard. I got a family of 10 squirrels, so it's going to be a fight between having the, the vegetables and herbs come in versus them trying to eat them, even though I have a squirrel feeder and I do feed our squirrels very, very well. They eat about 20 pounds worth of squirrel food from us every single month. I'm hoping they'll leave my vegetables alone, but... We don't know our squirrels do come up on our porch it is a family of 10 it's mommy daddy and eight babies they just had their last baby was just born a couple of weeks ago um but they do get squirrel food from us so we'll see what the battle um unfolds as when we start in the spring to go ahead and get our vegetables put into green stalks so this is what we have for you today if you have any questions comments concerns suggestions please leave them down below in the comment section any of you all who are veteran canners, again, please hit me up and let me know all the information that you can possibly let me know. I absolutely appreciate those of you who have already done that. I do watch a lot of other canners, y'all. You guys are mentioning people that I already watch, and I'm so excited that you watch them as well. I do watch Acre Homestead. I do watch Sutton Days. Um, I watch all those people, <laughs> and I've been watching them so, so much more. Uh, Rose, I watch her the lady with the gadget or the woman with the gadget. I watch her quite a bit. I actually have a playlist now that I am putting a bunch of canning videos into a canning playlist that I marked as private on my YouTube channel so that I can make sure I can go back and start watching things because 
I just watched Rose's video this morning. I don't know if it's an older video, but it did pull up in my feed where she was canning homemade tomato sauce. Another thing that I'm learning to can and will be learning to can is homemade spaghetti sauce. Spaghetti sauce continues to go up and that's been a problem for us here at the house. So I'm gonna learn to make my own tomato sauce and learn to make my own spaghetti sauce. Even if the spaghetti sauce has to come out of a jar first or a can of just tomato sauce and add the seasonings to it, that is something I'm going to do to avoid paying the higher cost right now at the store for spaghetti sauce. All right, y'all. Any other questions, comments, concerns, suggestions, throw it at me down below in the comment section. We'll be back in our next video next week. And that is our week three stock up. All right, y'all. Have a great day.